The Las Vegas Raiders versus the New York Jets. I don't know how long we have to spend on this. The Raiders absolutely laid an egg. I thought they played an embarrassing game. I like watching Raiders games because I like the style of football they play. They didn't get off the bus, man. Atlanta came out and throttled them, and it wasn't a fluke. Atlanta was more physical. Derek Carr could not hold on to the ball when he was getting sacked. Three fumbles and, I believe, an interception. Um, it was pathetic, and I'm sure that the coaching staff is letting their players know that they're pathetic. So long story short, I believe the Raiders will come out with a little bit more urgency against the bad New York Jets team. The Jets, by the way, laid the wood on them. If you, if anybody out there who watched the game know the, the CBS, I think, kept showing the graphic that last year the Raiders were 6-4 and four to start the year, and the Jets beat them 34-3, to three, and then the, the, you know, the Raiders missed the playoffs. The Raiders still have a massive game against the, the Miami Dolphins later in the year. I believe that game could be a play-in game for the playoffs. But, of course, the, Jet, the, the Raiders have to freaking win their games, right? I think the Raiders will win. I think they'll bounce back. Um, you know, Josh Jacobs is the big question. Has the ankle injury. Don't know how severe it is at this point. If you have Jacobs on your roster, you should probably be putting Devontae Booker on your roster if you can get him in waivers. The Raiders will want to run the ball regardless of who they have. Uh, Carr will bounce back this week. I still stay away from the receivers just because of the distribution of targets. Although watching, my favorite receiver um, to watch is, is Hunter Renfro. Whenever they need something, dude, that guy just shows up. He know, he's a football player. I like him. And Darren Waller, obviously, is a matchup nightmare for everybody. The New York Jets, um, I'm looking through, I'm looking through, and I don't start anybody. Take it away, David. <laughs> Yeah, the New York Jets, you don't really start anybody. But Denzel Mims, he's been pretty good since he came since he came in. The ceiling's not there, but in deeper leagues, he's he's put up close to 10, 10 fantasy points in every single game. So I think if you're going to start a Jet, it would be Denzel Mims. I don't really want to spend too much time on that right. other than that. On the other side, I mean, the Raiders... It's what is going on with their Josh Jacobs usage this year? They can't figure out one or the other. Last year they were giving him all the goal line touches and they weren't going to involve him as a receiver. This year they're involving him as a receiver, but they're putting Devonte Booker on the field around the goal line. What what is going on with that? Like, has he been injured all year? Something we don't know about? Like, I don't. I think I've asked this question like three or four <laughs> weeks in a row. What is going on? I mean, there's there's no way to to analyze it from the outside and make sense of it because this offense is run based. It is funneled through Josh Jacobs. Derek Carr clearly is what he is. I, this was the last week I ever will say anything nice about Derek Carr. Rest in, <laughs> rest in peace to my Derek Carr hype train because I'm done with it. I'm yeah. This is th th this week. We said he was a great waiver pickup and stream. This is absolutely, absolutely has, awful. He has shown us what he is and he is a good quarterback who can manage games and win regular season games and do a good enough job to get you to the playoffs. This guy will never win a Super Bowl. This this guy will never come close to winning a Super Bowl. At least unless you put start putting Randy Mosses on his team and, and you know they, they, hyper uh, inflating him. They need like, to they need to get him a, like a difference making wide receiver, like an Amari Cooper type, for example. <laughs> well shit. <yeah. laughs> Yes. Nah, I was a, that was a dig at the Raiders. Like I, you know, I, I think Carr. Like for instance, we were just talking about the Browns. I think you could put Carr on the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns are a lot better, and I don't think you would argue with that. But yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. Um, look, you know, the optics a lot of yesterday were, were crazy. I was watching the game, and I was just like, my gosh. I mean, I, it was it was bad. There's no other way to say that. Accountability, everybody. They're, the Raiders were bad yesterday. They, they just were. Uh, let me just hit you with the line here. I can't talk about the Jets. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's go. The has. They're going to bounce back. I don't care what the spread is. Uh, New York Jets are getting seven and a half points. That's it. That's yeah. it. I'm, I'm take the Raiders bounce back. Uh, let's see. What did I write down? Oh gosh. I, I, I actually do have the Raiders winning this game by eight points. So I'll, I'll take that. I, I wouldn't bet it. That's not close enough for me to bet, but, uh, the Raiders will bounce back. And after actually, because they got... Their teeth kicked in by a team that they should have beaten. I think they'll come back and go watch that Adam Gase interview, and you will be a thousand percent sold on the Raiders. <laughs> that team is just in purgatory. I'll watch. I like watching Adam Gase in those. Oh, uh, it's it's those insect <sighs> eyes of his. He's always he's like an owl looking for a mouse, and uh, in the middle of the night, that guy with his. It bug really eyes. is like they did the eye thing too in this interview. I love you're, it. You're you're spot on. <laughs> okay, we got.